my love. As we've approached this day, the question has been asked, are you marrying the man of your dreams? The answer is no, I am not. I am marrying the man of my prayers. In all of my wildest and most beautiful dreams, I could never have even come close to imagining the man that is standing before me today. is the perfect fit for you. Um, I remember meeting him for the first time and just knowing that he was so different. He loves you so greatly, and I love watching you light up when he's around. My prayers every night and every morning. I think <laughs> I thank God for putting you in my life. I also pray to him to continue to show me how to love you better and more deeply. In just a moment. You're going to melt into her and you're going to melt into him. God's not going to see where you end and where you begin and vice versa. One flesh. And the rest of your life is to live that out. And as you do, the world will see a better picture of the gospel. Until death do you part, you're about to make that commitment. For better, for worse, for wetter or drier, whether your dreams come true or not. Period. Committing to love one another in Jesus for the glory of God. Is that the desire of your heart? Yeah. I promise to be your biggest encourager, your helper, and your forever bandmate. <laughs> but most of all, I promise to choose you. I will choose you for the rest of our days and I will choose to fight for our marriage, and I will choose to love you until my heart beats its last. There's so much that can be said about this couple but the thing that stands out the most is their love for others, their love for the Lord, and their love for each other. God has blessed me with you, and I'll always be thankful, and will treat you like the heavenly gift you are to me. I love you.